Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. These kettlebell exercises will help increase your strength, flexibility, and endurance while also improving bone density, cholesterol levels, and blood pressure. You will only need a medium to lightweight kettlebell or just one weight. Let's get started. Go ahead and grab the kettlebell by both hands. You're going to bring the navel to the spine, hinge forward like you're going to put it down on the floor and then stand right back up. Again, let's do that. Hinge forward and right back up. I will praise you, Lord, because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So we're starting out the exercise with God right with us here, recognizing that He made us just exactly as He wanted us to, His masterpiece. One more, go ahead and hold the weight. We're gonna start with some alternating reverse lunges. Step back, just hold the bell out in front of you. I love this verse, your eyes saw my unformed body all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How awesome is that to know that God saw you before you were formed in your mother's womb. He wrote your story. He has the master plan for you. All we have to do, trust him, go to him, ask him what the plan is, and then simply obey him. All right, so keep alternating your legs. We're working on those legs, we're working on the core. We're inhaling as we step back and then exhaling as we step front. One more. Now let's go ahead and bring the feet further apart. This is a double arm swing. You're going to hinge forward, swing the bell through your legs and then bring it right back out in front of you. You can keep the bell out in front or you can bring it way up. It's totally up to you. You just go at your level and your pace. Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in Christ. I love that scripture. Praise be to God as we're swinging the bell, taking care of these bodies that he's given us. We're breathing with purpose, inhaling and exhaling. Now you're gonna notice your heart rate is going to elevate through the swings, okay? So if you need to lower the swing, remember, you can keep it right out there or you can bring it way up. So on this next exercise, we're going to alternate our arms, okay? So we're gonna bring it at the top, drop one arm down, then bring it right back up, alternating arms. Or you can stay with the double swing. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is within you, right? Who you've received from God is a gift. Our bodies are a gift and God wants us to take care of them. And that's what we're doing today. Just each day moving in a healthy direction with God leading us and breathing. All right, notice that heart rate is continuing to elevate just a little bit. You can bring the bell out in front to modify this instead of bringing it way up overhead. And you can alternate down at the bottom instead of up at the top. One more. Go ahead and hold the bell. Step your feet together. You're gonna step out in a side squat and then come back and bring that bell over your shoulders. Again, step out and then bring it back. A happy heart, do you have a happy heart today? Is good medicine and a joyful mindset, there you go, causes healing. It's so true. The thoughts that we think really kind of dictate our movements and what we do during the day. This is called a clean. So you step out squat and you bring that kettlebell back right by your shoulder. You can also keep it low. So you can keep the arm down and just simply step out squat 
and then back in. Let's do that a few more times. Again, inhale and exhale. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So step out squat and then clean. Again, moving with your breath and moving by meditating on the Word of God. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from ourselves. It is a gift from God, right? God has given each of us, each of us, a measure of faith to live by. He knows exactly what we need. So we just live by faith, right? And not by our circumstances, not by what we may be seeing right now, but by faith. And God will bless you and he will show you the way to go. Woo, you feel that through your legs and your upper body. And again, the heart rate, I love the kettlebell because it elevates the heart rate and it also works on all these major muscles. One more, let's go ahead and place both hands on the bell. Real wide stance and double arm swing through. Again, you can bring it right on out there or way up overhead. Inhale as you go low and hinge forward. Exhale as you come back. Good job. I love the verse that says, Behold, I stand at your door and I continually knock. And if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I eat with them and I restore them. Isn't that a lovely verse? God knocks at the doors of our heart. It's up to us to open it and allow him to come on in. And I did many years ago, about 30 years ago, and I can tell you, I am loving God more and more each day. One more. All right, good job. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our body with more kettlebell exercises on Shape by Faith. Go ahead and hold the bell, bring it to one side, and we're just gonna practice bringing it across the body with a nice little rotation. So I'm showing you the modification, and I want you to stay here for a few, and then test yourself out and bring it up a little bit higher. For we are God's masterpiece. Did you know that? That He's created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do the good things that he planned for us to do so many years ago, before we were even born. All right, you go at your level. We're working the obliques, the muscles that make up the waistline. We're keeping those arms fairly straight as we bring them across the body. Again, you can modify and keep it lower. You don't have to bring it way up by your shoulders. It's called the tree chop. We're gonna do a few more of these. Let's just do one more on this side. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So same thing, let's practice on this side. Rotate through your hip, breathe through it. Exhale as you bring it across. Be strong in the Lord. I love that verse. And in His mighty power. Don't you just love that? Do you ever tell yourself, be strong? You look in your mirror and you say, be strong. God is with you. He has given you the strength that you need today. You've got this. God is right there with you. As you're chopping <laughs> the tree chop, keeping the arms straight. Again, modification, keep it a little low, all right? Keep moving through this. You're doing fantastic. You just do what you can do today. Rest if you need to rest, that's okay. One more of these. Nice. This next set, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step into a lunge and then come right back. We're gonna take the bell up by our opposite shoulder and then chop across. God will meet all of your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Did you know that? God will meet all of your needs. Have you declared that over yourself? God, thank you 
for meeting all of my needs today and every day. Thank you, Father, for meeting their needs, the ones that are exercising with me. You just declare that. It's God's Word. It goes out and it does exactly what God wants it to do. Let's continue chopping and moving this body. Modification, just step a little front and give yourself a little chop there and back. Let's switch out the leg and the opposite side. Step and chop. Never stop praying. Always pray and be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you and for me, those who belong to Christ Jesus. Do you pray about everything and anything? I pray when I'm in my car. I pray when I'm getting ready. Um, I remember my kids when they were little, I would pray, Lord help me <laughs> get through this day with you, with your strength as I was changing their diapers. Felt like I was in a season of changing diapers. I mean, always diapers, but it's okay. God was with me in our seasons. Oh my goodness, they go by so quick. So just keep praying in everything you're doing. You're doing fantastic. All right, one more. All right, we're going to revisit that other side. Um, we're going to step out though on this one. We're going to squat down and then go ahead and rotate around. So I'm showing you the modification right here. Whatever you do or say, you are, did you know this, a representative of Christ. You represent Christ whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing, and you give thanks to him through God the Father. If you wanted to, you can bring the bell way up. And that inhale as you lower, exhale as you swing. Feel that in your legs, in your upper body, through your waist, in your obliques. I love the chops, we're doing a lot of chops to work the waist and work the abdominals. Let's do about two more of these. Last one. Now let's go to the opposite side, same thing. Lower down and then chop across. Here's the modification right here. Keep it low, below the shoulder. Progression, bring it up. You know, our faith, the way we walk, the way we talk, the way we live, it really shows the reality of what we hope for, right? And it's the evidence of things we cannot see. That's what faith is. You may not be able to see it, but God knows. And you just follow Him and allow Him to open up those doors that He's going to open for you that no one can shut. Because you know what? His plans always prevail. They always do. All right, do you feel that heart rate increasing? I feel mine increasing. One more. Let's go back. Feet wide apart. We're going into the double arm swing. Lower down and then swing on up. Give all your worries and cares to God. Your anxiety, your stress, that anxiousness, fretting, that fear, that uncertainty. Give it all to God because He cares so much for you. He went to the cross for you and for me. He cleansed us and He cleanses us every day from our sins as we confess our sins to Him. So God, go to Him. A few more. Two more swings. The last one. Coming up next on Shape by Faith, we will continue strengthening our body with some kettlebell exercises. Step out right and clean. Let's do that again. Step out right and clean. Now step out front and then press. Let's do that again. Step out front and then press. Let's put these together. Step out, you got it, front, and press. If we confess our sins to God, He is 
faithful and just to forgive us and our sins and to cleanse us. And you feel so good when you confess your sins to God. Oh my goodness gracious, I don't like keeping secrets at all. God already knows all of them anyway. But I love just going to Him, being real honest, because He knows anyway. Talking about what's going on in my life, a lot of times it has to do with my mindset. Maybe I've got a lot of toxic junk in there that needs to uh, be gone. Let's go to the opposite side. Step out and squat and clean. Let's do that again. Step out and squat and clean. Front lunge and then press up. Let's do that again. Great is His faithfulness. His mercies begin fresh every single morning. Like every single morning, you've got a fresh day, a fresh new start. Step out and press. Are you breathing through this? Keeping your core tight, navel to the spine. God helping us clean up today and every day getting rid of the trash in our life that actually weighs us down. Just carrying around a bunch of garbage weighs us down. So we give our sins to God. We confess them. One more. Last one. All right. Now we're gonna add to this one. Step out, squat, and clean. Let's do that two times. Good job. And then take the bell front lunge and chop. Do that again. Front lunge and chop. Now reverse and press. This is good for our brain as well, right? Step out and clean. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust Him. How are you doing with the combination? Again, that's great for the brain. Step out, squat, and clean for two. Now a front chop with a lunge for two. And then reverse it and press. One more. Let's repeat that on the opposite side. Step out, squat, and clean. And again. All right, now remember we're going to chop. Chop across. Do that one more time. Now let's reverse lunge and press. Clothe yourself with tenderhearted mercy, right? Kindness and humility, gentleness and patience. My husband says, Teresa, you need more patience. I know I do. <laughs> so I work on that daily step out squat. We all need to work on our own stuff, right? And um, it's good to have someone in your life that you can trust and that person who loves you that's gonna be honest with you. All right, keep it going. One more, step out and clean. And let's do a front lunge and chop. One more. And let's reverse lunge and press. Last time. Let's go back to a double arm swing. So wide stance here, and then just swing through, bring it out just a little bit. Did you know that the Word of God is alive? Oh my gosh, it's so powerful. It's amazing as you speak God's Word and His truth, as you allow it to saturate your heart and your mind, I mean, it just does something to your body. It just like electrifies it. It wakens it up. It just alerts it. All right, double arm swings will definitely keep that heart rate up. We're gonna do a few more of these. One more. Now we're gonna bring that weight to the side. This is a basic side lean. This arm can stay down if you wanted to keep it down. You can breathe through this, and you're working through the obliques. It's real simple, but it works. Simple works, just you know, simple things in our home that we normally don't even think about doing, or in our work environment, take the time to get up and do something out of the hour just for one minute. All right, keep leaning over. 
And I love the scripture, trust not in our own understanding, right? I keep coming back to that because I have to remind myself, Teresa, stop leaning on your own understanding, but lean into the Lord. He knows what's going on in your life. He knows how to handle that situation. A lot of times we want to open our mouth and say what's on our mind. And many times the Lord has said, don't do it. Just be still and wait on me. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So it's best to wait on the Lord and in his strength. And uh, he will calm you down from the inside out. There's just something about saying, Lord, I'm really upset about this or that. I don't like this situation that's going on right now, Father. And Lord, I'm angry and I don't know what to do. And Father, I feel so low. Give that to God. Talk it out with Him. I have a gazillion conversations with God all day long. And I consider that prayer. As I move, I pray. I have my prayer time in the morning, but I'm not setting a timer and saying, hey, I need to pray for 30 minutes or an hour. I'm just moving and praying as I go about my daily living. Let's do that a few more times. One more. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our body and hearts for God's purposes. Go ahead and transition to your floor and take your kettlebell, sit up nice and tall, pull your belly in and start to take the bell across the body, just hip to hip. This exercise strengthens the obliques and our core and abdominals. Also works on flexibility a little bit. He personally carried our sins in his body on the cross so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. Now I want you to listen to this and receive it by his wounds. You are healed. You're healed by his wounds. Have you said that to yourself? You know, so many times if um, I get hurt or something's going on or something crops up in my life, I remind myself that Christ died for me and that by his stripes, I've been healed. Go ahead and lower down. And to modify this, if you wanna come up just a little bit and hold here, that's fine. To progress, you're gonna use your core, come all the way up and hold the bell out in front and then lower back down again. I love the verse that reminds us to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. So having Christ in our heart and um, looking at things through His lens of love, right? Filtering everything through love, having Christ in our mind and in our actions, in our emotions. All right, so this one is challenging for the core, that deep core below the belly button and also through the waist. And let's go all the way back down. This next exercise you can modify by placing one leg up and keeping one foot down, or you can bring both legs up, bring the weight back, and then simply just reach up and then lower back down. So there's an exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. You know, we're supposed to be letting the light of Christ out and shine through us in everything that we do. We are carriers of the presence of Christ. So his light should be evident to others. They should see Christ in you before they really see you. And so wherever you're going, be nice, be kind, be gentle, be humble in all of your ways. And we're a work in progress, just remember that. Don't be too hard on yourself. Go ahead, bend the legs, bring the bell back. To modify, you'd place the feet down and bring one leg back at a time for the modification. For the progression, it's a tabletop position. Roll through your hips and then bring your legs back out. 
Then you can go ahead and come all the way up through the shoulders and then back down. There's an exhale as you do this. Inhale as you lower. By this, everyone will know that you are a disciple of Christ if you love one another. And that's it. Love is so powerful. It breaks through the darkness. It breaks through depression. It breaks through anxiety and fear and loneliness and uh, feeling abandoned and rejected knowing that God loves you and he approves of you, right? Keep moving through this. One more and then lower your feet down. This next exercise is a bridge. You can do it with the bell or without. Let's go ahead and bridge up, lift one arm up and then lower down. Let's do that again, lift up and lower down. I love the scripture that says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God and I will strengthen you, uphold you and help you with my righteous right hand. I hold on to that verse right there. Many times I just remind myself, God is with you, it's okay. He is strengthening you. Just go with God, don't worry about that thing or that situation, just pray. Do what God is asking you to do and let it go, right? Go ahead and switch out those arms if you wanna use the bell or simply just bridge up and bridge down. I love the bridge. It is so healing for the back, that lumbar spine, that low back area. And that press is so good for the shoulders, right? There's a scripture that says, I'm leaving you with a gift, the gift of peace of mind and heart. And the peace that cannot be described in words, it's, it's the peace of Christ that guards our hearts, right? So when we're troubled or afraid, just hold on to that peace that God has placed within you. Let's do that a few more times. Roll up and hold it at the top and roll back down. And again, one more time. Exhale and then inhale. Good job. Thank you for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best that you can be as we continue exercising and praising God together. He will bless our bodies and hearts for his purposes. It is God who made us and he breathed his Holy Spirit in us so that we can encourage one another. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy and strong in your body, mind and spirit. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and I believe that shopping is a ministry. The Shape by Faith shop offers many unique products and apparel that will be sure to make a statement that you are a child of God. These shirts and workout tanks are comfy, trendy, and offer a high level of modesty. Most important, the clothing is a great way to start a conversation with people you meet. Our most popular apparel is Warrior in Training, born for a time such as this, prayer, coffee, workout, love one another, and fear not. But you can never go wrong with our classic Shape by Faith shirts, tanks, and lightweight pullovers. Shop shapedbyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. The website also offers encouraging columns, weight loss testimonials, blogs, radio and television shows, and Shape by Faith breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.